In the Netherlands, this is a van. This is also a van. And this is also a van. And you probably guessed it already, this is also a van. Now be surprised that this Nissan Sunny GTI-R is also a van. Welcome to another Bumpai video and my name is Art. The story of today starts with a Wasabi Cars video in which Daniel O'Grady explained the difference between a van and a wagon in Japan. According to Daniel, it's not just the same car placed in a different tax bracket, but the car actually has to qualify to certain standards to become a van. And the same thing applies to wagons and vans in the Netherlands. A car has to qualify to certain standards to become a van. So how is it possible then that the Nissan Sony GTI-R then qualifies as a van? There has been a tax cut for cars that qualify as commercial vehicles in the Netherlands since the early 1950s. Today there are over 900,000 commercial vehicles registered in the Netherlands, which is roughly about 7% of all vehicles registered. The tax advantage works two ways. When a company buys a new car, it doesn't need to pay the so-called luxury BPM tax and it can deduct VAT. At the same time, the regular driver of the vehicle doesn't have to pay road tax and doesn't get the value of the car added to their annual income. Yes, it's a complicated matter, but let's just simplify this to you don't pay tax and you are rewarded with a license plate where the first character is a B or a V. Coincidentally, a limited liability company in the Netherlands is also abbreviated to BV. Historically, the Dutch are always keen to get an extra profit anywhere they can. So a loophole was found that a business could register a car as a commercial vehicle while its employees then could use it privately as well. So unsurprisingly, by the early 1980s, a lot of passenger cars were registered as commercial vehicles while they were still used mainly as passenger cars. This caused the government to mandate commercial vehicles that are registered as a van to follow these strict rules. No rear seats, blinded rear windows, flat floor space from the front seat to the rear. Nevertheless, this didn't stop people from removing rear seats to qualify for the tax benefit. And this ultimately led to the requirement of the minimum cargo space dimensions of 1.2 meters in length, 1 meter in height and at least 0.2 meters wide. The roof has to be 15 centimeters higher than the edge of the front windows. Otherwise a permanent separator between the front seats and the cargo bay has to be fitted. These rules only apply to new cars, so existing cars not adhering to the new rules were still allowed to remain registered as a van. Now let's get back to the subject of today's video, the Nissan Sunny GTI-R. When I first spotted this little pocket rocket, I noticed that there was a license plate starting with a V, meaning it's registered as a van. It is clear that Nissan never intended to sell a sub 5 second 0 to 60 car as a van to begin with. The license plate is dated in the early 1990s, so apparently someone took the effort to pull out these rear seats, flatten the floor space and register it as a van. Naturally, this car would never qualify for the newer rules as the roof would be too low. Yet still, it remains registered as a van today. Now don't start crying and think this loophole has been closed for performance cars. The Porsche Cayenne, the AMG ML63 and the Audi SQ5 still easily qualify for these newer rules. That means that there are professional companies out there performing these conversions for you if you like. That's it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making this one. If you like my videos, check out my channel for more interesting content. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bum, 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 bum,